Let's talk for a few minutes about the side clamps in the red snapper system. These are the ones that I know and love and use every day, but often they can be tricky and difficult to use, so I'm gonna give you my best tips for them. What I love about these clamps first off is how long they are. So they cover the whole working area of my throat space on my long arm machine and putting even tension on all of it. And I love that as opposed to a clamp right here and a clamp right here. So that's my favorite thing about them. But here's where some of the tricky parts come in. It's a long clamp and this right here, this slim little area that my needle is sliding through, that's the channel that our fabric has to fit into. And you can see that's pretty narrow. It's only about an eighth of an inch of opening, but that's where we're gonna put our fabric. And then along this edge is a little rubberized bit, and that's what kind of holds the fabric tight. So let's see what that looks like in practice. I've folded back the batting so that you can see the edge of my backing fabric here. Here's what we're going to try and do. We want to insert this clamp onto this edge of the fabric, thus creating tension all along here that pulls evenly on our quilt. So I usually start at the edge closest to me and I feed the edge of that fabric into the gripper at the bottom because I can see right where it needs to go. And then I gradually tip the clamp inwards catching the edge of that fabric all the way along, and that's it, and now I can clip it closed. And then I can put my side clamp on, putting that even tension on. So that's how it works ideally. But in practice, there are many slips, twixt cup and lip, as the old saying used to go. One of them is that often you will have some sagging here, especially if you've got a fair bit of excess backing and there's not batting equally wide, it can start to sag more and more as you advance your quilt. So one of the ways to deal with that is as you start feeding that fabric in, pull at the farther end, pulling some tension on that edge. That can help it to slip in the channel. Another way is to use a corsage pin and literally run it along that channel, helping it to slide in. If you've got a cut edge on your fabric, as I do here, sometimes a cut edge or even sometimes a selvage edge will have this little almost tiny fringy end. That can be really difficult to slip in. So a pin is really handy for that. Literally just sliding it along that channel and coaxing the fabric to go in. If you have a lot of sag in this area here, I often will literally reach up on my rolling take up bar at the other side tug that fabric tight, I'll pull on it and you'll see it pulling tighter, and just spool that around and tuck it in underneath that take up bar and that tension can help as well. So all of those are great tips for getting that fabric in place. So once it is slipped in, in a nice straight line, clamp it shut and you're good to go. And I can put quite a bit of tension on that and it is gripping and it is not going to slide off. I'm putting a couple pounds of tension on that more than I ever would on my quilt. And it does grip firmly and it works beautifully as a side clamp. Let's look at it from another angle. So I'm at the other end of the same quilt so that you can just see a fresh angle and I'm dealing with the selvage edge here as well. So once again, here is my clamp. Let's look at the end of it. This little channel here, that's where we're going to be putting the fabric. So the hinged portion is what faces upwards, and this is what will clamp closed and hold that fabric tightly pinched between those two layers. So let's open it up again, and we're gonna work on this selvage edge. So you can see there's just a little bit of rippling, a little bit of sag here. So again, I'm going to start at the end closest to me, slipping my fabric as far as it will go into this little edge. You can almost see it there, there we go. And then gradually working my clip in, and it happens to be sliding easily today. But if it weren't, I would reach up at the other end, the far end, and pull on that a little bit. And that little bit of tension often is all you need to make the difference. And can you see my fabric has slid in, it's about 3 eighths of an inch into that channel so that it is thoroughly and securely grasped now. So again, I'm putting several pounds of tension on this and it holds very securely and very steadily. And I've got this equal tension all the way along my entire throat space. That's what I'm looking for.